Teams from the Philippine National Police Special Action Force are deployed and realigned to areas in Samar, Bicol, and Negros Island following President Rodrigo Duterte's new memorandum order against lawless violence. The Philippine National Police says there are about 127 to 132 officers in one SAF company. Albayalde says the president issued the order because reports of New People's Army or NPA attacks in these places merited the need for additional cops and soldiers to the areas. Albayalde also adds the order has nothing to do with martial law. Malacanang says it will clarify with the Chinese government if prohibiting Philippine media from entering the area is part of its policy. This comes after a GMA7 news team was barred from Panatag or Scarborough Shoal in early November. Presidential spokesperson Sal Panelo says he texted Chinese Ambassador Zhao Jinhua about the incident. The envoy referred him to existing processes through the Department of Foreign Affairs or DFA. The DFA will investigate the incident but Panelo urges GMA7 to file a formal complaint that could serve as the basis for the government probe and the DFA's letter to China. Malacanang assures the Philippines finds objectionable any act that violates the country's rights. Retired Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales makes her voice heard again and says the Philippines cannot survive treason from within. Quoting Marcus Tullius Cicero, Morales says, A nation can survive its fools and even the ambitious, but it cannot survive treason from within. Morales did not mention who she was referring to, but says the writings are on the wall. Morales makes the statement days after the Philippines signed with China a Memorandum of Understanding on Oil and Gas Exploration in the West Philippine Sea. Meanwhile, Acting Chief Justice Antonio Carpio says the MOU is, quote, safe for now, but the Philippines should proceed with caution. Engadget reports three people with tetraplegia, a form of paralysis that affects all four limbs and the torso, are able to operate an unmodified tablet with the help of a brain implant. The patients are part of a new clinical trial for BrainGate 2, a system that uses an array of microelectrodes implanted into the region of the brain that controls voluntary movements called the motor cortex. The implants decode neural signals and convert them to computer actions in real time. The three participants simply had to think of the digital action they wanted wanted to perform and the system will pick it up. The study says the participants were able to browse the web and send an email. One of the participants was able to order groceries online and play a digital piano, while the other two were able to chat with each other real time. The Philippine National Police and ABS-CBN signed a Memorandum of Understanding to allow the use of actual police facilities and equipment in the production of hit show FPJs Ang Provinciano. PNP Chief Oscar Albayalde represented the PNP, while Chief Operation Officer Cory Vidanes represented ABS-CBN. Ang Provinciano star Coco Martin was also present. The signing comes weeks after the PNP cried foul over the supposed, quote, unfair portrayal of police in the long-running TV show. The ABS-CBN show show ruffled the feathers of police after it portrayed a fictional police chief conspiring with the vice president to overthrow the sitting president. Artist groups denounced the government's attempt to meddle in the show. (laughs) 